Welcome to this series where we are taking a look at the 1.8 update for Imperium Galactic Survival, which was released in June 2022. What I want to do in this part is take down the abandoned factory that we discovered at the end of the last part. Now, there's two reasons for doing that. The first one is purely sentimental because and up until this update, quite often when on your starter planet, you always had one of the abandoned um, POIs, a factory, workshop, something like that to get your teeth into. Well, this is going to be our first kind of major POI to take down. And also there's some pretty nice loot in here. So it's certainly worth taking the abandoned factory down. And I'm also pretty sure that we're going to be able to get some safe in from this abandoned factory, although I'll talk about that a bit later on. First, an update, because if you watched the previous video, you'd be aware that I got myself into a bit of a space battle, partly due to hubris in the sense that I thought I could just mine with the pirates hanging around. If you watch that video at the end, I was kind of going through the damage and I kind of missed this bit here where, where an O2 tank was. I also lost some plants from this area due to blast effect. And I was kind of pretending that I didn't really have that much damage. But the, the honest truth is we took a lot more damage on this side than I thought because we lost a thruster. I think it was the thruster blowing up. That actually destroyed the O2 tank on the inside. We also lost a block here and a block here and a um, the, all this section was damaged. In fact, I've still got a block missing. Let me just do this very quickly. If I don't do it now, I'm going to forget. And what I've been doing is actually replacing the, the missing blocks with hard and steel blocks because cause one thing I'd forgotten about this ship is the fact that most of this is actually... It's just plain steel so what we're gonna do is i'm pretty sure this is one of these thingies so we're just that around yep around so that's a thin block that goes across there i don't think that's got the orange strip i think the front section of this is actually gray make sure just to keep the color scheme consistent yep so we've now got this area here pretty good I'm quite happy with that and we'll just get rid of that now and this is another reason to get some safium because I think I need to start hardening up a few areas here but to get that we're going to need safium plates always more demand than whatever we've got no, I'll pick that up later on. And we've got the. I don't um, made any more changes to the. Um, oh, one change I did do. Sorry about this. <laughs> is I've actually added a shield generator to this ship. So if I come in here now, what you'll find is I've now got a shield generator in here. Not that I'm expecting this to get into any real combat, but I think it will make a difference so that if we get another little sneak attack like we had before in the previous part, um, the, the ship will be a little bit more resilient. Now, what I want to do is put the Merc in the centre. I don't think we actually need shielding because this is a relatively peaceful planet. Of course, if you watch the previous video, is I would I'd already cleared all the top area here so what I'm gonna do is just drop down here just turn this off turn the lights off it'll be daylight fairly soon oh I thought it was gonna be daylight it's getting the impression that that says that it's um, daylight already because it says sunset in 13 minutes now, I did toy with the idea of, of fighting my way down through here. In fact, let's just get rid of these guys. Kind of even the odds up a little bit. Or just damage them anyway. And it suddenly occurred to me that they, since the last time I did this, they've actually introduced crouching. And that's given me an idea about... Wow. Oh. I'm not going to mess about getting up to that guy. We'll just loot him as fast as I could try it. Ah. 
Right, we've got some med kits. A little bit of Sathium, much appreciated. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll just shove this into the loot box so we can see what we get. What I've done is I've brought this pulse rifle for blowing down this area here. Now, if anyone's not familiar with the abandoned battery in the room around this corner, in fact, we're just get rid of that area there. Fine. We've got to kind of go in here anyway. Is a couple of great big turrets. Oh, okay. this is going to be a little bit more. Okay, we're gonna have to what you've got to do is try and turn the turrets out oh. okay this is going to be a little bit more trickier than i thought it was going to be plus i know up here you can just see the turrets there what i'm hoping is that because we've now got crouch <laughs> I'm gonna need the shotgun. I'm not sure if I can stand up here, so if I get behind this block. Can I stand up? Hoping is that if we can. What we've got to do is there's a switch up over here where we can get things. But the trouble is they've got a bottom. I was hoping to get rid of the abominations first. Okay, this is not going strictly according to plan. I think we're going to have to go for it, guys. Got him. Haha. <laughs> right, we've now got... That's what you got to do. But before, you had to kind of leg it out from this area and then just run straight through it. But now we've got Crouch, we can actually kind of... Uh, safe area. First thing we're going to need to do is get rid of the... Screaming abdabs around this corner. There should be a lot more than just one. Just track their attention. There's also a. <laughs> Another one. Hello. There's actually a turret just around this corner as well. Couple more down there. What we could do is send a uh, present. We've got control of this area. And we've got loot boxes over there. We'll check those. But first I want to go down and loot our friends down here. These are actually scorpions. Right. So we'll just go back up here. And you can see there's actually some mo boxes buried in the ground. There's what two of them, I think. One rocket. Wow. Generosity is overwhelming game. And we got some stuff here. So we've got these nice big turrets. And what we're going to do now is reload this. A little bit of radiation coming through. <laughs> but I mean, everything's gone haywire. Yeah. Right, there's a 
Muss mir auch. Shotgun. Get rid of him. And we'll just gonna try and use some of the smaller med, med kits. Oh, I messed up the reload on the sniper. I fall, but that's okay. I just love the epic sniper, sniper rifle. Two shots and they're gone. Now, there is a shortcut here. As you can go through here, I'll just show you here. Um, it's this trapdoor here. So if you, oops, make sure no one's coming up behind us. And if you look through there, what we're after is these alien blocks. Actually, um, I'm kind of a bit inclined to try and clear this room. There's some nice loot in here. We got dermal parasites. Walked straight into that, didn't I? Um, and of course, it's going to tell me that we've got an open wound. I think we will go the long way round, actually, because I'm making a lot quicker progress than I thought. Anyway, we're just going to go and loot the. Containers. So this has got a lot of very good quality loot in it. There's a pretty sure. Oops. I keep, keep getting stuck on things at the moment. I'm pretty sure there's a loot box actually in here as well. There it is. Railgun. And of course we got a whole series of loot boxes here. Radiation is piling up a little bit, but not excessively. What have we got here? Terrible antibiotic ointments. Not exactly. I think that might turn the gunny things off. Right, we got some more. There, we got some anti radiation. Uh, I think we'll take that with us because I'm a bit worried about the fact that the radiation is building up a little bit. Um, what we will do is offload the food. bit of loot here back on the way through <laughs> oops again snake this not sticking game. There's a whole load of them in there. Um, like that. Reload. Actually, oops. I think this is. You've got to flip the switch there. I think what we will do is. 
Okay. What? Ah. <laughs> Here they come, boy. Here come the boys. You can see it's quite a little bit of an unpleasant surprise here. Wait. There another one. Nope. Okay. Just pull back and offload the food again. Into more food. And we'll just put this stuff in the loot box. Keep the don't need the multi tool. Hello. That's another one. Oops, miss. Watch it now, though. I don't think there's anything else in here. Of course, if you come in here and it's full of creatures, you just come down here, run up, jump up to here. Oh, I've got some more health kits, but take those. Little Shade Pioneer, loot box. Oh, my. oh we got some more heavy armor, a little bit of best room, some power cells. Um, oh, haha. <laughs> Right, we need some food. Let me just put this in food. And we need to top up our food a little bit. Oxygen's getting a little bit low as well. Going through quite a lot of oxygen. So we again we've got an automatic door, so we'll just put okay here, okay. Hello guys. Now we're in this room here and you just see down the back there, just around there is a turret. Now what we gotta do I'm not sure if we can bypass this by going up there, but what you got there what just in about one of these blocks is actually a Trap door. I can't. Okay. I'm curious about this up here, actually. Um. Yeah, this is the the back entrance to the hole. There. What we can do is shoot through. Okay, um... Have they taken away the trapdoor? I'm sure it's... Thank you, game. There is single-use trapdoor. It's that just that block there. Didn't think it was that position. Okay. Oops. That's all that. We've got to aim for. We got that area there. Now if I show you what's below, <laughs> we got a whole room full of bug uglies, and what we gotta do is get down and try and get up to that area there or get somewhere where we can or preferably down here and oh we got a bug ugly there so so this is where it gets interesting so what we need to do is just make sure where everything is fully loaded 
think what we'll do is we'll use the epic pulse rifle for this but we'll also make sure this is loaded now I'm probably not going to say very much during this <laughs> process This is in the safest of locations, but I want to get rid of him. say apologies again for not saying very much but things do get a little bit intense when you come down here if I remember correctly we've got to go round this way if we go the as the entrance is up here I think if we can get up into the roof here and travel across like this um the loot box there all the bug uglies drop down. We can get the epic. Oh, look at that gold. Two large optronics bridges. We certainly want that. Problem is being able to hit them. Um, they won't oblige by. Ah! I mean, this epic pulse rifle is just so OP. <laughs> now, you can go in there, but the door we... Um, this is the door we need. Now, there's a spawn point up there. It used to be, unless they've moved it. The room we got to go into is just there. That's the core room. Right, we've got 86 Zeno blocks. Bit of fire fuel, um, what we call it, stuff. I must admit, getting past those uh, initial turrets has made quite a big difference. Um, right, what we are going to need is explosives for this. Take down the, the core. Let's get rid of that food again. Just make sure we're loaded. Now the core is actually in the centre of the room there. So what we're going to do is just rush in here. Ah. get the core I didn't didn't hear an explosion but then again I was a little bit preoccupied well we're not we're not gonna have a shortage of meat are we um, I get all of them not that makes that much difference right let me just reload yep we got the core so the building is ours. And of course what we've got is a nice big nice pile of loot here. Wow. As you might have guessed, this is a certainly a, a POI worth doing. And 
what we are going to do is call this so um <laughs> explosives back oops um it's in the wrong place actually what am i doing this should be in raw food i'm just gonna shove it in the center here whoops of course the building is now the reason i've called this is that i think i've got you got a bit of an apology for you guys in the sense that i didn't think alien blocks actually have uh safe in plates in it and somebody did post a comment a little while ago feel free to bash me if i if you were the one who i actually corrected uh, but i'm pretty sure now that the game's been changed because i'm absolutely certain that they never used to have um uh alien blocks in there in fact actually what we've done is we picked up a great big pile of them didn't we xeno steel so i'm just gonna go there now my main concern now is whether we can actually get them into the workshop because of the nature of the ship, the workshop can be a little bit iffy with respect to Safium ingots. Yep, so we got a little bit, but we're still going to have to take a lot. I think combat steel would give us more Safium, but so what we've got now down here is a very good source of blocks, but that is going to be a task for me off camera. So what we're going to do is just going to salvage these so I know what what's what because we've got to make our way back up and we're not out of the woods yet because this is the one of the problems with taking a shortcut through this poi in fact what is the fact that um the <laughs> is the fact that you've still got lots of bug uglies around which we've got to clear and in here I think we've just got luckily they won't spawn so we're just going to actually could probably do with that oxygen get a little bit low so we can just jazz up our oxygen a little bit a bit of water and I think this comes out oh no. hello guys thought this room went all the way through this is the generator room we'll leave the generators in just for the moment because I will be coming back here to loot what we've got and if we blow it. Um, I think we'll go back to the cheap pulse rifle I don't think there's anything in here that's going to give us a major problem um food and i can actually kind of show you the room through here in fact we'll just um, get some more safety in plates biofuel the low level stuff Just loot these. As I say, you can still hear all the bug uglies <laughs> going full bore behind us. So we're not completely out of the woods. I think we got that one, didn't we? So we'll just keep working our way around here. Um, should just get rid of here. Just easier to loot these or a movement again nothing particularly special here i don't think i got that guy did i no nope. uh, take him deconstruct this and um, him some here he comes. Hello. Wait, don't run away. Oh, 
Oh, he's not dead. <laughs> Did those, didn't I? So we just need to a bit massive loot in the way of steel plates. Motors. A bit of water. Um, some food. I think we're okay for food at the moment. <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure there's a, a loot box round here. I don't think this goes anywhere. This is a, like a little bit of a deception, but you can come round here. Come to here. And then what you do is you come up through here. And you've got this area where you come up and there's all the um, sentry guns here we can just actually we could we'll actually take this um sentry guns because i want to put a couple of cent uh, more sentry guns on the yep uh, we're... take that get rid of you now this is the floor if i'm correctly that's got a trap door in it you kind of come through here and under one of these is a trapdoor. Not that it really makes that much difference. Let's see, is this actually this is all still hard and still. This looks different, but I'm sure the trapdoor is in here somewhere. There's like a, a trapdoor in the floor which drops you down. Ha! Ah, there it is. And what that does is it drops you down inside. Ah. I knew it was there, but it's such a long time since I come this route. It's, the route I've just done is, is what you could say, is almost the de facto route. If you, I think if you watch virtually anyone who plays this game, that's the route that they will use. Let's just take the flame for a fuel. Oops, no. Is it that one? No, yeah, okay. That one box. A bit more flamethrower fuel. Reload on the way through. Um, I think we've got everything here. And what you do is you come round into through all these rooms. We've got some fuel here. How much fuel has this space got? Oh, I'm I'm very tempted, but I just want to keep the lights on at the moment so you guys can see. Safety and plates. plates I think it's the oxygen's getting a little bit crucial now this is the room with the turret and you can see just tucked around the behind here which is a bit of sucker bait for anyone who's brave enough to come around here we got another 96 um, what we call it I think I've got some emergency oxygen. Let me just the general supplies. Yep. Yeah. Just zap up the oxygen a little bit. Wow. I'm too cold. Is that because we we lost the heating? Okay. I don't think there's much I can do about that. I don't think I've oh I've got hot drinks, haven't I? Food and meds. Yep, yeah, give ourselves a hot beverage. Oh. Um, we'll just give ourselves another shot. <laughs> so we cleared all these rooms, and actually, I, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do exactly what I did just now. Oops. Um, 
Pioneer loot box. I'll just get rid of those Xeno blocks I just picked up. Might as well get rid of them as we go. See how much we got? We got 96 of these. So we got about 150. <laughs> so I'm I'm pretty I'm not even convinced that if I loot out all these blocks in here, I think we've done these, haven't we? Back out these, so yeah, I'm not even convinced that if I do all these blocks, I will have what I need. And done all this room. So there's the corridor. And we're back up to here. And... Um, there's just so much loot in here. Uh, by the time I take this place apart, we're... I'll just show you the other way in. Now this one's a bit of a death trap because if you look at this way, you this you come in this way. Now this is the shortest route to the switch, but this turret has the ability to shoot directly down this turret. Uh, not turret, tunnel. Sorry, turret. What am I on about? Okay. Now getting out of here can be a little bit, but once you've got control of the base. Ah. Let the jetpack get rid of that. And if you clear that one out, and then get back a little back up again. Okay, just do it my normal way. Just build myself a staircase. Of course, it means now we're back up here. Oops. Um, oops. I've got that on the O2 station. And now, technically, we don't have to go this way now. Simply because we can just hack the blocks out from underneath them, but I think just for the fun of it, guys, and just to finish the video off, we're just come down this route and loop through here. Just to give you guys an idea of what is actually down here and the risks that you can run by coming through here. In fact, we'll just do that. So, uh, Plus, it's a long time since I've been down this way. You can see you get a turret at the end. It's epic shotgun time. And you come into this room, and what you find is there's a turret hidden there, a turret there. And a turret up here so this whole area is full of turrets which is can be bad news and i think there's even there's not one here but yep okay but you get a few on mid bay stuff okay we'll just um drop everything into loot water Oxygen, some nice med station stuff in here as well. Which we're gonna take away. I mean, this is one of the reasons why I missed me doing these because ah, okay, leaked up on me, did you? In strictly speaking, what we got? We got a, a wound, open fracture. 
<sighs> Close fracture with me. Ah. Okay. Why did I? This hole in the floor here goes nowhere. And ourselves. To show you, it goes absolutely nowhere. And it comes uh, another one. Hello, guys. You can see there's a whole load of loot in here. Make sure we get the room completely up cleared. So we um Oh, these are the tunnels I was thinking of. It's, it's definitely, there is definitely a trapdoor in here somewhere. Or is it just, there it is. So here's the trapdoor that I've been looking for. If I drop down into here, you can see it puts you facing the wrong way, right in front of these uh, um, uh, very big uh, weapons, which can be a little bit of a problem. And I'm getting cold again. Um, obviously, there's something about this room, or maybe because it's open to the outside, isn't it? Because I blew holes in the walls. Uh, and that, I think that's it, yeah. I just... <sighs> of course, I don't have armour protection, so... There were... Just come up. There, whoops. Shield. Because I've now opened up the whole area. And of course, we got... I don't think I looted these. You can hear that there's still a few bug uglies around. Um, get rid of you. In fact, and this brings us, and of course, this brings us back to this room. And we'll just take this away. Um, I think just to finish up now, we, we're going to be operating outside. So what we'll do is we got two one five five. What well, fuel tanks? These are just tier ones. And well, we can take the O O two out. Eight hundred and well, we'll just do it that way. So we got about five oxygen, a pile of energy. So we got pretty nice haul out of here. And of course, more importantly, we've now got access to the Sapien blocks, which I'm um, not um, alien blocks, sorry. Which I'm gonna take apart, but I will do that off camera. So this is where I'm gonna leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode, hope you found it interesting. Until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.